Hey guys, welcome to Rain King Recording. I um, just wanted to show you this piece of gear we got here. It is a Neve 3104, built by Brent Averill, probably in the early 90s, maybe the late 80s. Um, Brent has the reputation for building the most accurate Neve recreations out there because he actually he goes as far as to make sure that the color of the wires is the same that Rupert Neve actually used. Uh, does all the looming correctly and a lot of the parts of these are actually refurbished parts that he pulled out of old Neve consoles um, and other Neve preamps. So they're, they're as close as you can get. A lot of people say that the Vintech stuff sounds exactly the same. Vintech stuff is great but it sounds a little more squishy because it's not loomed correctly. Um, but it's it's one of those things where it's like all right, I'm not gonna complain about having a Vintech preamp uh, over a Neve preamp. They just sound different. They don't necessarily sound any better or any worse. It just got a little more a little more give to it. Um, not not quite as much grit. But anyway, I'm gonna go through everything on this uh, preamp here. It's a preamp slash EQ. Um, a lot of people are gonna say, well, it's a the same as a um, 1081, and it's not. The 1081 has a four band EQ. This has a three band EQ uh, with actually it's got a well three band EQ with a high and a low shelf, and then a mid range here, and then it's got a high pass and a low pass filter. Um, over on this side here, let me move the camera a little bit so you can see it. You've got your high impedance input, and then a switch that will let you switch between uh, instrument and mic. Then to the right of that. You've got an EQ button, which turns the EQ on and off. Phase button, which turns, which will knock the preamp out of phase. You've got a 48 volt button, and you've got a high uh, Q or high bandwidth button, which will control the bandwidth for your center band uh, of EQ. And then if we go over to the right here, we've got, back up a little bit, our high pass and our low pass filter. High pass is on the outer uh, knob, low pass is on the inner knob. We've got our high shelf, I'm sorry, low shelf, mid range, high shelf, gain, and then we have an output level here. So this is actually step gain, just like Ripper New stuff. So every time you hear one of those clicks, you're actually switching another, to another resistor. It's not a potentiometer here. These are pots uh, with th resistors. So you can select your frequency and turn up and down. Um, but yeah, this is not a potentiometer. It's actually step gain. And uh, this has a line and a mic input on the back uh, with one line output on the back. Uh, so that way, if you just want to use the EQ and so you have a you want to use an API preamp, you can do that because um, the EQ on these sound great and it may not always be what you're looking for. Uh, to get that Neve grit. You might want something a little more clean, maybe like a Day King or um, some other kind of preamp. So guys, that is the Neve 3104. Um, and if you got any questions about it and want to know how it sounds um, or anything like that, just uh, put your comments in the comment section and check out the website RainKingRecording.com. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.